a very difficult day. Uh, that, that night, uh, you know, she drank like a lot of bottles of milk. Uh, it was probably the first time I cried as an adult. It was very scary because uh, I knew that uh, having type 1 diabetes would mean, you know, a lot of uh, uh, planning uh, for anything that he had to do. I was in my house, I was on my Xbox, and my mom told my father to check my sugar because during the past days I was drinking a bunch of water. When they finally got blood out of her dehydrated body uh, to test, that's when they came back and said diabetes mellitus and my world just changed. D impacts me and my family continually, never-endingly. Living with someone who has type 1 diabetes um, is, to say the least, difficult um, because I always want to make sure that she's doing okay. So I would have each check for um, most events like Gym, lunch, snack. And some days I have really great days and nothing goes wrong um, and my blood sugars are in range 100% of the time. Um, and some days it's awful and it's up and down and up all day or down all day. It's like he always like has to wake me up, like shake me or something. Like he has to wake me up and I don't like that at all. But, but it's a life-threatening disease. so. There's always that possibility. There's always that concern. That you, are you really prepared to get her ready? Uh, and it kind of, it's like a thief that takes away all the fun things you think you would have to be able to do. It's a state of constant worries. Uh, we have to make almost every day medical decisions without being doctors. I think it makes me uh, a worse parent than what I intended to be. We got a syringe and filled it with water and I practiced doing shots on an apple. And I was giving the apple little shots of water and kind of gave me the confidence to do it on my own. I'm like, you know what, I think I can do this. I can do it in apple, I can do it in my own arm. It's uh, made me a, stro a stronger character. Uh, it's caused me to focus on myself and my health. I, mean, I think it's always going to be a challenge, but I think as technology grows, it's going to get easier and, and hopefully eventually uh, they find a cure and she doesn't have to worry about it every day. That's the hope. I probably would be too ambitious to say that a, a, a cure will be found, uh, found in, within five years, but, but I hope at least a cure is, a cure is found within his lifetime.